hello curly fries welcome back to my channel and welcome in if you are new today we are building in the plains biome on eternity isle i got this random idea to create an actual oasis so that's what we're gonna be doing these are some of my ideas i got from pinterest so i am gonna try to create this today before we get started today, please hit the like, subscribe, and notify button as it does help my channel out a lot. And you'll also see my future videos. So some of the foliage that I used in this biome were the cacti, the palm trees, and I also used the beach grass and the glade of trust bushes to try to give that lush effect, but also kind of dry effect. I also tried this rug pond thing, but it was kind of hard for me to cover up the harsh lines. I tried to use some rocks and I also used some big rocks a little later and some ferns and some of those butterfly flowers to try to give it that pond effect. But the corners of the rug are what I was struggling most with, with covering up. If you guys have any tips, tricks, or videos that I could watch to try to help me with getting this effect, please link them down in the comments. I also wish that I had the waterfall item for this build, but it has not came up in my screw shop, so I don't have it, unfortunately. For the path, I kind of wanted it to be just a path outlined in beach grass but i thought there was going to be too much grass for an oasis biome so i decided to use the tropical wood path um, along with outlining with some of the grass and some of the sunlit plateau grass also the reason i chose to make this more of an oasis type build is because as i said in my previous videos i do think this biome is very yellow there's no color in this biome in my opinion so i wanted to add some greenery and i thought the best way to do that was to make it like an actual oasis i am going to be using the desert palace that we just got in the store for this build i also think the palace is very monotone and also matches the yellow brown color in this biome so we're gonna try to spice it up with some of the market stalls in this build i do really love that they are deciding to give us some more desert themed items i just hope that they're more colorful in the future I will also be using the harvestable items that we have in this biome just to make it a functional build. Even though I don't like the harsh lines of the rug, I do love how this turned out. It definitely gave me the Oasis vibe that I was going for. I think I should have made this a little bigger, maybe a few more rugs just to make this pond stand out a little more. Right now I'm deciding how I want the entrance of this build to look from this point of view. I decided to go with two palm trees that were kind of curved circling in the entrance just to give it a more lush feel. As I said before, I do like to keep my builds functional so I needed to make sure that I could reach this mine spot behind the pond. Now that we have the back corner of the build correct, I am gonna continue the path over to the other entrances just to get the layout of the build. I do hope in the future they give us some different color variations of this tropical path. I love this path a lot, but I would love to see it in like a dark wood and a birch, maybe white wood. It would look good in some of the other biomes. I didn't know what to put in this area, so I did make it a natural area to show off some of the cacti and some of the trees in this build. Maybe in the future, they'll give something small that I could put in this area. At this point, I decided to use some of the dead bushes to try to give it more of a dry feel. I wish that we had some of those like hay bales that roll around that you can kind of place um just to show that it's still a desert but we don't have that at the time so we just went with the dead bushes now we are going to start detailing the desert palace i did want to show off the sand fountain in front of the palace and i'm also gonna give it some color with some of the market stalls i do love the blue market stalls with this palace because of the blue structure that is on top of it and also the windows at the top of the palace just help to give it a little more color. 
I didn't really want this to be an actual market. Um, so I just kind of put some bushes under there for some decoration. I just wanted this to be like the entrance to the palace. I'm also going to sprinkle around the harvestable trees and bushes in this area just to make them more accessible. I'm also trying to detail just to give it kind of a clutter core vibe. I didn't have much to put over here so we went with some barrels and we're gonna spice it up with some trees. Now it's time to finish up the path going over to the other two entrances on this side of the build. I did have trouble with the shaping of this path. The tropical paths are really square and I wasn't sure how I really wanted it to go because I wanted this to curve around to this entrance so you'll see me playing around with that for a while. If you're wondering why I didn't pick up this harvestable right here, it's because my game was glitched for a long time because of the time skip that I do for Animal Crossing on my Switch. I accidentally logged into Disney Dreamlight Valley while I was somewhere in the middle of January. So this harvestable is stuck right here for now, but we will eventually pick it up. I also could not find a good spot to put my rift. You guys know I love a good teleportation to a finished build, but in this build, I kind of struggled with where to put it and how to make it a nice entrance. You'll see me move it around a lot in this build. The same as the goofy stall, I didn't know exactly where I wanted it to go. On the other side of the desert palace, at first I wanted it to be a market. So I put some market stalls and a few tents over here, but I ultimately decided that I did not want the market look at all. So I eventually moved Scrooge's shop over here and kind of just make another entrance with a market stall to his shop. I left this entire part of me trying to figure out this other side so you guys can kind of see my thought process on what I was trying to do in this area, but it didn't work out. I do really love these tents that we also got in the update. I plan on using them in my Forest of Valor maybe, just as a campsite, but I'm not sure yet. I'm gonna find some creative ways to use these tents. Another thing on my wish list for the screw shop is the veggie stands. I do have this one fruit stand, but I would really love the white veggie stands and the white fruit stands. My Scrooge shop has just been so disappointing lately. Um, so if you guys would like to join my Discord, we could share each other's Scrooge shops in there. Um, I would love to get these fruit stands if anybody has these in their shop. You can also post pictures of your valley and your different builds in my Discord. The link will be in the description below. I would love to see you there. If you are still here, thank you so much for watching. If you could hit the like button, it would really help out my channel in the future. I would love to reach more Disney Dreamlight Valley players and share my inspiration. The rest of this build is me pretty much detailing with the foliage and the trees. I am very sad that I lost the footage of me moving the Scrooge shop over here and detailing that as well. But as I said before, I am going to give you guys a tour at the end so you can see the end result. I ultimately decided to delete this market stall on this side of the palace and I put a, another pond over here just to give it more of that oasis feel i felt like i needed two ponds so i decided to put it in this area if you guys did not know i do stream on twitch on thursdays through saturdays um, and i do stream on youtube on saturdays as well um, if you are interested in coming to my Twitch chat, the link will be in the description below. I do do a lot of my builds over there, and we also play a variety of games. I would love to see you there.
as we near the end of this build i'm just going to be filling in some of the natural areas with some grass and bushes i also found this cute bamboo bench that i'm going to put right there and in a few other spots i also enclosed this entrance with two curved palm trees to still get that closed in effect when you walk into this biome all right now we are going to end this video i am still going to do a tour so you can see how i decorated the screw shop on this other side of the desert palace all right so we are going to walk in from the ancient landing right away you are able to see screw shop and i did put the orange tent over there i'm just showing you the pond here and that i could get to this mining spot I left the front of the two buildings blank with a just market stall there. I didn't want it to be an actual market, just the entrance to the buildings. So I didn't put anything in there. I also put the goofy stall here and some outhouses just to make a small little park. All right, that is the end of the build today. Thank you all so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next build.